I watched this on uh, Monday. It's on Netflix. Um, it, it, it was okay. Like, um, I'd say this... I'd say this rating is accurate. It's um I, I would probably rate it four point five. Um it's got the guy that played James Bond on here and then uh Ellen Barkin, man, this nutso, and then uh Nina Dobry was pretty hot, and then th this guy from uh the Gemstones movie. So um oh hold on, I better put uh What's the thing? I'm going to put spoilers here. Um, yeah, spoilers. So just if you want to watch it. I mean, it's it's an okay show just to watch if you like what I'm doing, working out or just doing stuff around the house or something. It's not like a... If you're going to just sit and watch this whole thing through, it might be hard. Like I just... Uh, I ended up turning, turning it off at some points and coming back because it was just... Uh, it's just, a, it, it's just not that good of a movie. Like I said, it's just... So, um... This guy from the Gemstones is getting married to Nina Dobrev here, this piece of ass. Um, I think she's the chick from the vampire thing. Uh, it's that show that Risey likes, the vampire. was a Diaries, I think. And then these are uh, her parents. And, um... They're these notorious bank robbers that can't get caught. And then he is this guy who just got promoted to being a bank manager. And they're using her to get him to get so they can get into the bank. And it's okay. It's all I can tell you. Like the, the comedy is the, the comedy on here is real hit and miss, man. It's just. They got a moral from the. Oh, I got to say something about this this gal. This gal is very annoying on the movie. Um, she plays like this CEO of this company that can make banks that you, or what do you call it, uh, vaults that are like impenetrable and all this stuff. And she, the guy comes to her about asking questions about the bank and she won't give it, give him anything until he oinks like a fucking pig. And, uh, the, the guy, okay, man, there's just, <laughs> it, it could have been written a lot better. That's all I got to say. But moral from the walking deads on here. I don't know why they're not showing moral. Huh. Merle plays this um, Merle's the detective guy that's trying to bust these two yeah, where is he on here yeah here he is the guy that plays Merle he's on there it's a uh, it's just an okay movie there's nothing special about it um this is the guy that used to play Bond on there. The, 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 the funniest scene that I liked on there was um, they were talking about James Bond and that kid is like, oh, I like Goldeneye. I always thought he was the best Bond. And then he's like, yeah, that guy was the best Bond out of all of them, wasn't he? And it's like they have this bonding mo moment over Bonds or whatever. <laughs> Overall, though, it's... um. Just an okay movie, nothing special or anything. Like I I think that's accurate, but like I would probably put it at four point six out of ten. Um I guess that's it. I don't really have anything else to say. There's um I didn't really see any woke crap or anything on there that I could think of. Uh it's a fairly straightforward plot. It, it moves along nicely, but what uh, the problem with the, the movie is the comedy is just not funny on there. It's like it's just really bad slapstick stuff. Like you're just I don't know. 
anyways, um, that's it. If you want something to watch, I mean, this is okay, I guess, but you're going to have a hard time getting through it in one go. So I got to say, all right, thanks for watching. Bye.